Moeller Microsurgical, a name synonymous with the highest quality surgical operating microscopes for delicate neurosurgery, ophthalmics, and ENT, is proud to bring its trusted technology and reputation for excellence to the dental surgeon. Over the next few minutes, we will see how Moeller, the standard of excellence in surgical operating microscopes, is committed to bringing you state-of-the-art technology to assure you of more comfortable viewing, more precise control, and better clinical outcomes for your patients. But first, let's look at how a surgical operating microscope works and the special features that make Moeller's Universa 300 an outstanding value in operating microscopes. The Universa 300 mounts on a sturdy base with casters for easy movement as well as wheel locks for securing the microscope in place. Depending on your preference, optional wall mounts or ceiling mounts are also available. Free-floating cardonic suspension means that the microscope can be positioned for ease of use in any direction. All movements are quick and effortless with smooth, instant locking in all axes. Inclinable head and eyepieces mean that the microscope head can be adjusted to fit the way you are most comfortable during a procedure. No need to strain your head or neck to achieve a comfortable viewing position. For even more viewing comfort, the interpupillary distance between the oculars is fully adjustable, thus providing optimum stereoscopic vision. Once in a comfortable operating position, you can choose five magnification levels depending on the working distance you like and the procedure being done. It's easy to change magnification from 2x up to 24x with the turn of a simple knob. Also, the speed at which the microscope responds through the various user-controlled focus adjustments can be set to meet your individual preferences. It's yet another feature that makes the Universa 300 so user-friendly. The built-in halogen light source is simple to maintain. There's always a fresh spare bulb ready to be put into service at the flip of a knob. The degree of brightness can be adjusted to deliver just the right comfortable intensity to the operating area thus reducing eye strain and fatigue during lengthy procedures. This, coupled with state-of-the-art optics, provides a new level of stereoscopic perception and depth of field. You will clearly see details that would be impossible to see with loops or even other microscopes. Another very useful feature is the microscope's built-in beam splitter, which allows an observer or video camera to capture and record every detail of the surgery. A companion digital camera with its crisp LCD allows you to view live images for downloading to a VCR or PC via an RS-232 port. Thus, you can compare pre- and post-surgical procedures or electronically consult with colleagues anywhere using real-time captured images. By far the most significant feature, and one that has captured the imagination of virtually every clinician that has used it, is Moeller's exclusive electronic variable focus. With this exclusive feature, you can operate comfortably at a working distance of up to almost 300 millimeters and be assured that the operating area will remain in sharp focus over a 10 millimeter range. Clinicians who have experienced the ease of electronic variable focus do not want to even consider using other microscopes without this feature. As an endodontist, I find the variable focus feature of the microscope to be one of the most exciting technological advances available today. Why? Because we have to access canals. We have to enter through the pulp chambers. We're looking for canals. And once we do, we have to go down the canals. And with the variable focus, I can actually go through this entire depth of field with the push of a button. Uh, this also affords wonderful opportunity when performing apical surgery, as in an apical curatage, where we once do the apico and we, we prepare the root end, we then can go into the deeper recesses of the bony defect and examine that at the same time. In this procedure, the mesial buccal root can be seen very clearly. Ultrasonic tips are used to easily uh, clean and prepare the canals for retrograde fillings. Seeing root slivers is possible using high power magnification, which many times in the past using conventional methods was not possible. A coagulant is applied for hemostasis. A retrograde filling is now inserted and condensed. 
after being inserted, the retrograde filling is inspected with a micro mirror. Demineralized freeze dried bone is used as well as an absorbable barrier. Why should you buy a microscope? What kind should you get? These are all good questions to ask yourself when you're making a purchase as big as this one. I know for me there is no question which one offers the most for the best price, and it is Moeller's Universa 300. The variable focus feature for the Universa 300 microscope allows fingertip control of fine focus. The fingertip control is ergonomically placed on the handle of the instrument, and this allows easy fine focusing when adjusting from high power to low power in areas of the mouth that we're trying to visualize. Uh, many times we'll find that in treating the posterior region of the mouth, the, field of, the depth of field is quite narrow, and therefore revision of this fine focus is very helpful. By having it featured on the handle of the microscope, it, it uh, minimizes the movement of the patient and allows us to properly visualize the sight we're seeing. The use of the microscope allows techniques that are much uh, less traumatic for our patients. It permits uh, greater control of, of the soft tissues, allowing us to suture these soft tissues with very fine sutures such as 7O Vicryl. Uh, by doing this, we're able to achieve primary closures in areas we would have never dreamed we could have done without the use of the surgical microscope. Uh, our, our results are uh, seen as healing much faster at the end of a seven-day period, and also our patients are seen to need much less postoperative medication to control um, uh, to control any discomfort they might might have following a procedure. This patient is a 31-year-old Caucasian female presenting with aesthetic concerns with regards to the mandibular central incisors but also discomfort related to temperature sensitivity and inflammation. Most significantly, the patient could not perform adequate plaque control due to the discomfort experienced from the exposed root surfaces. Clinically, teeth number 24 and 25 presented with five millimeters of marginal tissue recession and a lack of attached gingiva. This could be classified as a Miller class two recession. Utilizing the surgical microscope, a supraperiosteal envelope technique with connective tissue as the donor tissue was performed. Suturing was accomplished with 7O Vicryl suture to adapt and stabilize the donor tissue and approximate the marginal tissues of the recipient site. The surgical microscope enabled the visualization of the suture tension rather than rely upon tactile sensations which could result in trauma to the very friable soft tissues. The seven-day postoperative slide illustrates 100% root coverage of the denuded root surfaces as well as an increase in attached gingiva. The 14-day postoperative slide also shows a slight increase in papilla height and form between teeth number 24 and 25. I feel the universe of 300 microscope is an excellent microscope and should be assessed by all clinicians that are planning on practicing precise periodontal treatment for their patients.